Good morning, this is Peter from the Property Club with a quick update from Casa James. So I'm here, it's a Monday morning, it's around about 7am in the morning and I'm feeling good. Quick update, I've been on my fast now for four days. This is day four, uh, the start of day four. I'm feeling good. Um, the first day was rough. The first day was rough and actually the next morning, I was in so much pain. I was really feeling quite ill and not feeling good at all, feeling a bit sick on the fast and I was in pain because the day before, <laughs> actually I walked eight kilometers. So I went on a big walk, two separate walks. I walked my two dogs, Quark and Cisco. And yeah, I, I just had to push through that. So I was feeling sick and what I did is I'm like, no, just ignore the sickness, rise above it, I'm feeling good, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm great. <laughs> okay, so just try to tell my body that no, it's all good and I'm feeling great. And what I did is a workout and then in the afternoon, I went for another walk. So I went for about four kilometers, 4.4 uh, kilometers yesterday walking and I did the upper uh, west side, sorry, the upper east side. Uh, the day before I did the west side. So I did that and I went for a walk. Unfortunately, the view was not spectacular. The day prior, I went for a walk. The view was amazing. The sunset, the uh, just the sky was all this orange and yellow and stripes and it looked great. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have my camera because I was just busy walking and I didn't want to get distracted filming on that walk. But anyway, I'm going to keep walking, keep going, I'm going to keep pushing. Look, my goal, my goal, honestly, is to go for as long as humanly possible, you know, starve myself, <laughs> you know, go on this fast um, for up to, you know, say 10 days. If I can reach 10 days, then I'm going to be laughing because I think I'm going to drop a lot of weight and that's going to kickstart me on my health kick and getting fit again. So I'm really, really pushing myself at the moment. You can probably already see some changes. Day one was like, I went to the scales. I actually weighed more. It didn't make sense to me. Day two, I didn't weigh myself. Day three, I weighed myself and I saw a drastic drop in my weight already. I saw a drop of two kilos. Okay, so that's good news. Um, obviously, there's going to be some you know, discrepancies due to water intake and this sort of thing. I've got to keep up the water doing that. Also, I'm getting into drinking tea because usually I drink a lot of coffee and I realize it's not so good for me. So I'm going to have to drink some tea as well. So that's what's going on. Uh, me and Arian are getting on a lot better. Um, she's happy that I'm losing weight and, you know, I'm doing something healthy for myself. And I think, you know, with everything that's happened, in the last few weeks, I just felt like I had to do this. I know it sounds crazy. Pete, what are you doing? You're fasting, you're starving yourself, you know, just eat. <laughs> but look, I really need to drop the kilos. I really need to shed the weight. So what's planned? What's planned for the future? Well, at the moment, I'm going to do a new series of videos. So I've decided to do a new series of Airbnb videos. I do suggest you have a look at the video, okay, that I recently did on Airbnb and getting up to a 60% discount. Now you've got to do that immediately. You must watch that video because that will expire soon. Soon you won't be able to get that offer. You won't be able to get, um, you know, negotiate those special prices. Watch the video and that'll tell you exactly how to get those discounts. It's an awesome deal. It's a great idea and it's a positive that's come out of this COVID-19. Especially if you're looking, you know, going somewhere in say August or September, now is the time to book. Another thing on that video in the description and the comments section, you will actually see there is a section where there's a voucher. So not only can you get up to a 60% discount, but I'm offering you a $44 voucher for free if you're not already a member of Airbnb. So that's great. That's awesome. Uh, you've got to take full advantage of it because uh, you know it will expire soon. It is a limited time uh, that you'll be able to do this. Very limited. I'd say get onto this now, straight away, within the next few days. 
Other thing I've been doing is looking at property. People have been contacting me saying, hey Pete, what about this property? Can you do a video about that property, etc.? What about the changes in the marketplace with COVID-19? Where are the opportunities? So it's been a big task, very daunting, because I'm looking at different marketplaces. I'm looking at Thailand, I'm looking at Bangkok, I'm looking at Pattaya, Hua Hin, I'm looking at uh, the Philippines, Angeles City, Subic and Manila, Australia, and all these different markets, because I'm trying to find markets that have been heavily affected by COVID-19. Now, the market I can say that has been the most affected is most definitely Thailand. I've been seeing even 30% discounts from developers on new property stock. So that is awesome. I'm going to do a video later in the week with different property options. And, you know, after speaking with, um, you know, developers and real estate agents in Thailand and the Philippines, the deals that I've found. Unfortunately, the deals I've found in the Philippines have been chit chit. There has not been any deals. There's no negotiation. And it's like, you know, COVID-19 doesn't even exist, which frustrates me because actually there's these big discounts in Thailand, but actually Thailand has done a lot better, you know, when it comes to this virus and this crisis than the Philippines. I would have thought that actually the discounts, there'd be more discounting in the Philippines, but Philippine property just seems to be ultra strong. It just keeps going up and up and up. And, you know, to my surprise, it seems now that actually Manila is more expensive than Bangkok, which is unheard of because as long as I've been looking at um, you know property investment, Bangkok has always been more expensive than Manila. Okay, but now it just, it seems like it's changed. Perhaps it's the Pogos, perhaps it's uh, Chinese investing and investors in general, that shift moving towards the Philippines. I know there have been in the last couple of years, a lot of foreigners, a lot of expats coming to the Philippines. And obviously that's pushed the prices up significantly. Looking forward to a really good week. Double thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Please do share, like, and subscribe and have a wonderful week. And let's take full advantage of what's going on at the moment and turn a negative into a positive. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and bye for now.